project is about getting through this. We're on the dawn of a new day coming into the light through this darkness. Today, in the last few days that we've been together, it's like we're helping to open the portal up a little bit more by even just, you know, emitting the vibrations that we have sonically because everything is vibrations, you know. Uh, we speak is vibrations, the energy you, energy you give off is vibrational. This universe we live in is vibrational, whether you feel it or not. You know, you could call it avant garde, you could say spiritual jazz. It's still about is all the isness improvised soul at the end of the day because th those are the main components is improvising and playing it from the heart. soul as new Chicago so there are many groups that are coming out of this idea that it's not one genre but the collective expression of the history and the music and the future of this music through tolerant acceptance of concepts ideas values and histories that can blend together in new ways for an upliftment to communities across the world and we feel very fortunate to have Spirit Muse Records be able to support, promote, and develop this whole concept of is improvised so. to work um, within this uh, band so this was like trying to fill in the shoes for a guy who I've studied with and admired not only him but also with Pharaoh Saunders so just it's a vernacular and when you're around something for so long it just becomes a part of it and so the commonality of all the working with both these uh, and all, everybody on this project is just everybody's bringing like you said the sound of Chicago I like the idea of uh, time travel <laughs> and going back through the records allows us to jump back into that time of history and it's a conversation that you gotta come with the right material 
or are you just gonna look like you don't know what you're talking about? I was very honored when uh, I got the call from Corey, and he was like, yeah, you want to? I was like, oh? <laughs> Let's see what I've, if I've been listening or not. So this is always like a cool, uh, you're not learning, and it, it, it's not useful if you're learning, if you can't apply it. performance with Isaiah Collier you know he's an extraordinary uh, musician and I've actually watched him from afar develop and to be in my fifth decade he in his first decade and that we've come together and to be here with Corey Wilkes who we've been playing together for over 15 years and the idea of the ethnic heritage ensemble it's a band that doesn't focus on the traditional tonic where a bass player holds the form you have to find it without what's obvious and still make it feel obvious when it's not obvious and to have great players like this um justin dillard his his sense of keyboard wizardry and his understanding of chordal harmonics is the first time we've actually had um a pianist in the ensemble Beyond our pessimism, beyond our doubts of all these hard times and the political, cultural unrest, it's through the music that we can find, as uh, St. John Coltrane said, a resolution. Some of the compositions, you know, with this project, we will get through this, that it's time for healing, uh, the coming of spring, that we've gone beyond these elections now. We got through this, uh, things that people doubted in regards to the so-called powers that be, there's a greater power. Creation is a greater power beyond man's intellect. There's several generations that we're beyond our ages, we're beyond our differences, but allowing ourselves to get into the tradition that Louis Armstrong, that Coltrane, that Rossan Roland Kirk, that Albert Eiler, that David Murray, just so 
Alice Coltrane, you know, just so many people have felt this spiritual energy uh, through the music, the great Farrell Sanders, and we hope to express a continuum with authenticity and truth that we will get through this.